episode 2734 of the number one podcast and Apple podcast for job search. You're listening to or watching No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm your host, Jeff Alton, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. Goodbye, September. Goodbye. And um, fourth quarter of the year, we're at the countdown time. If you've been out of work for a while, you got to hustle now because it could be dangerous to your career overall. I'm not saying you're not doing that, but you really got to step it up now because once it becomes next year, firms become very unforgiving. So it's a blunt message. It's not the topic of today's show, but I just want to say to you, it's important that you do that. And this show is about communication skills and how you speak matters on interviews. Hope you find this helpful. Please share it on LinkedIn. Please share it wherever you know people are looking for work. It will help other people discover the show. And I'll be back in just one moment and have a great weekend. There was an article in the New York Post recently that spoke about how people with Southern accents are adversely affected on job offers based upon their accents. I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. People hire me for no BS career advice and coaching globally because I make things so much easier for them with regard to job search, hiring, and much more. Now, I'll simply say this isn't just about Southern accents. I know, because I now live in the South, that people with Northern accents or uh, receive lesser offers or outright rejected because of the Northern accent. And obviously for those of you who were born outside of the United States, you already have experienced how accents adversely affect you professionally. I want to encourage you that if you do have an accent of some sort, It's important for you to practice elocution in ways that are more common for the area of the country that you live in. For example, the article I referenced mentions how people who work in many different fields practice speaking in ways that are more common for their area. If you're foreign born, you have to make sure you're understandable. And that normally will start off with slowing your speech down because Americans often, or people in other countries, often have difficulty with the cadence of your speech. And thus, by meeting them where they are, you're going to wind up with more job offers. When all is said and done, you already know that when you interview, it's important to be understood. If you don't do the homework in advance to make this more natural, it's going to come off awkwardly for you, and you don't want to have have that happen. It will also affect how you're seen professionally if you are hired. So you want to practice how you speak to make sure you're understood. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few ways that I can help you even more. Again, If you're interested in JobSearch.community, I'm offering a free insider membership to the site. Message me through LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter, and I'll send you a coupon code that's going to help you get free access through January 1, 2024. In addition, My legacy site, TheBigGameHunter.us, the blog has thousands of posts available to you that will help you with your search. Also, I'll simply say connect with me on LinkedIn at LinkedIn.com forward slash IN forward slash TheBigGameHunter. By the way, at my website, TheBigGameHunter.us, you can schedule time for a coaching session with me. Ask me questions through trusted advisor services. I want to help. Have a terrific day and be great.